You may not have heard of Mauro Figueri, but you will have heard of teams like Scuderia, drivers like Nicky Lauda, and John Surtees. Now why is this man synonymous with these teams? You see, Mauro from young age has always been connected with Ferrari. His dad, being one of the engineers in the early 60s, led him and Enzo to have an interesting relationship. You see, Mauro was always interested in engineering, and his dad had taught him what perfection could look like. Growing up in the 50s, you see cars, the Ferraris that were being created, burn a passion inside Mauro. When going to university, Enzo offered him an apprenticeship. You see, being offered an apprenticeship back then by Enzo was like being given a gift from God, and one he did not want to waste. Growing up under his dad and Enzo was a great way to learn skills. But when Enzo got a bit trigger happy and fired his entire department, Mauro had to step up to the plate. Being only 27, he was now in charge of Ferrari's entire divisions. Le Mans, F1, you name it. He was the man for the job. Everything from gearbox to engine and chassis design, Mauro relentlessly perfected, earning the nickname Fury in the process. You see, if it wasn't for him and Enzo's father-son relationship, Ferrari would not have been able to do the things they did in the 70s with Nicky. But the relationship with Mauro and Ferrari wasn't always plain sailing. You see, he had resigned over three times during his course at the team. But each time, it was Enzo that brought him back, proving that that father-son bond was stronger than ever. Mauro Figueri, a name synonymous with innovation and excellence. In the motorsport world, his legacy continues to inspire. It's quite a while since 1979 when the Ferrari last won the Drivers' Championship, it's here in the 2000s when Michael Schumacher came along. But I bet you he is still happy to put his name to over 54 race wins, 9 endurance championships and 16 world F1 titles. Now don't forget to subscribe for more great stories about great people within the motorsport world. I can't wait to share stories from McLaren, Lotus and more.